Hello, this is Haki Devine, and I am here with r slash Tumblr. I'm going to um, do this for today and tomorrow because I need to make two videos in one day. And since Tumblr has such an endless amount of content, totally, I can totally do that. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Today I learned humans are bioluminescent and glow in the dark. But the light that we met is 1,000 times weaker than our human eyes are able to pick up. Forget every product from the beauty industry. I want to know how to increase my natural bioluminescence. Alright, this is going to be fun. Oh crap, that is a lot. Mario and Donkey Kong are in the same universe. Everyone already knows this. And Donkey Kong's sidekick is Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong has a spin-off racing game. Diddy Kong Racing. This is the character select screen from that game. First thing of note is Banjo here. So we confirm that Banjo Kazooie and Mario take place in the same universe. And from that, at the more troubling thing is Conquerors here. Conquer has his own one game after this called Conquer's Bad Fur Day. And the final boss of Conquer's Bad Fur Day is unmistakably a xenomorph. Super Mario Bros. Banjo Kazooie and the Aliens movie all take place in the same universe. This is canon. Pass it along. Obviously, Xenomorphs exist in the same universe as Predator, obviously. And Predator, well, he took a little trip to Riverdale. Archie versus Predator. And who could forget when Archie and the gang met Kiss? Who once helped these guys out of a real pickle? Scooby Doo and Kiss? And I've got Scoob, he's friends with a Raisin Christmas giver. Bear with me, we're almost done here. Which brings us full circle. Mario and Sonic Olympic Games. <gasps> no way. Dang, that was really convoluted. I don't get a lot of good head-ons to this post. But this is one of them. Is that an I funny water bar? Never mind. Who cares? Hatsune Miku visits her dying grandfather, IBM 704, in the hospital. 2023 colorized. So sad. Grieving loss ain't easy, even if you are Hatsune Miku. Positron. One Electron Universe. The One Electron Universe for Oscillate, proposed by John Wheeler in a, in a telephone call to Richard Erd Fe Enman in the spring of 1940, is the guy that all electrons and positrons are actually manifestations of, phys of a single entity moving backwards and forwards in time. Uh, according to Feynman, I received a telephone call one day at the Graduate College at Princeton from Professor Wheeler, in which he said, 
Feynman, I know why all electrons have the same charge. And the same mass. Why? Because they are all the same electron. Yes, he hit the vault really hard. That was the joke I was making. Bro, can I use the electron for a sec? I'm taking a, a every... Yeah, I'm transfers electrons away. Be prepared for that. Hey girl, um, we were playing D&D with your boyfriend, and, um, yeah, she's using pronouns now. Yeah, no, she's doing great. Yeah, yeah, no, she made a girl character as a joke, and all the rest is history, or her story. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I guess she's her girlfriend now. So I've said some people who are like, God, I wish it is for me, because I'm like, babe, which part do you want to... It would be a girl if you wish your boyfriend was a girlfriend, because either way, I have some news for you. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> she, her, blocks and unfollowed. What the hell? <laughs> this is something that he would say, isn't it? You read a lot, right? Yes. What are some books you've read recently? Books, huh? Hmm. Sorry, I've only read Ed fan fiction. Beautiful. Looks pretty bad down there. I sure am glad we were aborted. I wish everyone could be aborted. So that's me the one and to tell y'all about aborted children and, and children die during, before christening, they'll get to heaven. They go to Limbus, the outermost circle of hell where the souls who are, go who have accepted from paradise without being their fault. You need to update your sources. Since 2007, unbaptized children go to heaven and limbo doesn't exist anymore. The Vatican announced on Friday the results of a of a powerful investigation of the concept of limbo. Church do doctrine now states that unbaptized ice babies can go to heaven instead of getting stuck somewhere between heaven and hell if label doesn't exist. I may even read the a patch notes. <laughs> I'll never get over how freaking ridiculous he posts Hunger Games is something in Young Adult Trendle and was. Every book was. Uh, as society is, is sorted into. Roll size. Five groups based on. Pix card. Astrology signs. It is illegal to. Throw a star at a wall. Sing. The main character is special because she spins wheel, knows how to read. Two boys are in love with her. Hunger Games said, I am this incredible piece of literature detailing the evils of a capitalist society in conjunction with an increasingly authoritarian government. The purpose of my love triangle is to make the protagonist face a very real choice of staying with what she knows, passion and war and survival. 
are finally having a chance at peace. My twist ending was genuinely unexpected but fully understandable because switching out one tyrant for another accomplishes nothing aside from placating the people. I contain so many layers of nuance and meaning that it is astonishing that at middle school children were able to truly grasp me. And every a young author looked at that and went, You teenage girl fights against scary government while trying to take between boys. I'm gonna reproduce this perfectly. And frankly, I hate it. That was the worst freaking attempt at dumb voice and furry voice I've ever done. This is really just getting all the big ones. Biggest educator of um U.S. Klein, you could buy six ma Big Macs with one hour of wage in the 1980s. But today you can't even buy one, despite minimum wage more than doubling. So Big Macs in the 1980s were only 50 cents. Now they are $8. I'm telling you right now, it does not cost them $7 to make a Big Mac. It costs them less than in a nickel. This is pure greed. It's over. <laughs> yes, what do I say? Explain purchasing power to collapse to an American. Imagine no burger. If you want to have the same purchasing power, or the same minimum wage should be $49.60. That is the minimum. Sort of 50. That is the minimum wage. That should be debate. We should not be debating about $15. We should be debating about our $50 minimum wage so that people can actually buy it. I didn't think they were able to in the 80s. <laughs> oh, MFG, all week, my dad has been yelling at me about eating his fruit snacks, and I promised him I wouldn't eat any of them, and I was in the bathroom getting a lady product, and he heard the rap rope thing and screamed, I know you're eating my fruit snacks, and he busted the door open and grabbed it out of my hand. And then I walked all the way to his room before realizing he just took a pad out of his 15-year-old menstruating daughter's hands. The fact that this father is very protective of fruity snacks makes it 20 times funnier. What the heck? Ooh. It's nice that we get to die someday. Imagine being immortal and suddenly you remember all the embarrassing things you did in the last 2,000 years. Horrible. Me as a fa as a vampire. Oh jeez. What's wrong? Just remember that time in 1654 when the tavern maid said, Enjoy thy meal! I replied with thee as well. Oh my goodness, I'd walk in the sun. I won't be able to survive. Every time I'm supposed to go to sleep, I just got into the sun. For record, I'm sure I speak for 90% of each of Twitch streamlets when I say, always use an ad blocker, no matter what. Like, you're not sleeping with creator if you do. Unless a streamer is dramatized, ads will provide about 5 cents a month. So just routinely you attempt to push ads with incentive programs that go nowhere and alienate it on audiences. If you want to support a creator, find out where they are they can be supported. A single five dollar donation when you can afford it, it will literally do more for them than anything Twitch or YouTube provides via ads. 
I think I've made posts like this before, but I was thinking anytime YouTube or Twitch tries to ban ad blockers. Cheers. What are you eating? Cashews. Did you bring enough for everyone? Did you bring enough up to share with everyone? Uh, yes. Reason for your visit today? Thoughtfulness. Sometimes I think I miss high school, and then and this is pretty accurate. One time I was in class middle school, and I, and I, I was getting a beef jerky to some gym, and the teacher said, Stop having that unless you have enough to share. So I pulled out a box of 200 slim gyms. From Costco, of course. And the teacher or freaking confiscated it. They had enough to share, you ooh. Jerk. Dang it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to read this. I cannot read that. <laughs> Mom, hey. Me, retired from walk in the woods after still being unsuccessful and, being, and getting abducted by fair folk. I don't want to talk right now. Ye olden days, I was never gone there. The fair folk may take us away from this world. Millennials, banging pots and pans together in the middle of, the, of a mushroom circle during a full moon on equinox. It would be a shame if something abducted me right about now. In, right? Every day, roadwork wizard fills in potholes, and every night, dark road roadwork wizard crafts new ones. I love that. <laughs> hey, give birds antlers, but what if they get stuck in the trees? Alright, but they could also use this camouflage and blend in with the tree. What if they land on each other's antlers? Stack them. Wish them. I keep presenting you with cursed concepts, and you keep drawing them in friendly, pleasant ways. This is blasphemy! You have to yell whenever you're, you're calling something blasphemy. That's just the rules. Not doing so is blasphemy. Anyway. I think that's enough for this one video. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, where I'm, I, where it's actually just going to be the same day for me, but it's going to be tomorrow for you. Because I do these on a scheduled thing where I did them like two days after I record them, but I forgot to record yesterday. I was really, really tired yesterday. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow with another a video of me tumbling around the Tumblr, so I went the post that I was just about to read. Until then, goodbye!